this bag started it all my journey on youtube <laughs> i've watched almost every review video about it before purchasing i got it from the chanel boutique in hong kong because you don't have a chanel store here in my place at the time and until now <laughs> welcome or welcome back today is gonna be a five-year review of my chanel large classic double flop otherwise known as the jumbo i got this brand new in 2018 so i've had it for five years and over the course of five years i've lost count on how many times i've used this but one thing's for sure this is not worn out that's why i'm starting to use it more often lately i just want to go back to what i mentioned earlier this bag started it all <laughs> my journey on youtube uh before i bought it i've asked a few youtube creators about this and everyone said it was worth it despite its high price one of the people i encountered was andre andre who became a friend of mine on youtube i'm going to include her link in the description box below so you can check her channel to make the long story short i got encouraged by her to start my own youtube channel because i kept on asking her on so many questions about luxury and about the things or the items i wanted to buy before so here i am and uh, going back to this bag this is in caviar leather uh, black obviously and with gold hardware one of the most important to consider when getting a chanel is the leather you want do you want beautiful luxurious lambskin but it's more prone to scratches and wear or do you want a more worry free bag that may not have the luxurious look of a lambskin i chose the caviar leather it's because i wanted to carry it as an everyday bag caviar is essentially grained leather which is less smooth and buttery than lambskin but would allow me to tote this bag around without worrying about scratches showing up in addition puffy kilts on caviar also take longer to deflate over time than lambskin bags so how does this hold up for a five-year-old bag it's in excellent shape i don't see any wear and tear no signs of wear and use on the bag that is because number one i don't overuse it compared with my other bags and number two i took care of it and store it per properly after every use and of course number three i use bag organizer to protect the interior from sharp objects dirts and stains i also use the bag organizer as stuffing to maintain its shape i'll show you later that there's not even a single scratch inside the bag i don't use the pockets not even the lipstick holder even the zip pocket where Coco Chanel supposedly hides her love letters, as they say. There's the tag or serial number, which is the same as in the authenticity card. But this pocket right here, I sometimes use it for receipts and loose bills or parking tickets. While the back pocket, I don't use it at all. If there's any flow in this bag for me, it's this part where the zipper head presses against. And this is exactly the reason why I always check it whenever I use it to avoid indentation, which is sometimes annoying, but I got I've gotten used to it. When I store it, I make sure to put this clothes back. These pieces come with the bag when you purchase it and they serve as protection. So there are no indentation at the top of the inner flap where the chains rest. The gold hardware is in excellent like brand new condition and they are bright yellow gold with no scratches even on the turn lock as you can see as far as the chain strap is concerned i just want to share with you what the sa told me before when i got this just be careful don't pull the strap deliberately <laughs> with force because it will potentially scratch the leather 
this part here not just the leather but the uh, rings i don't know how you call this but i'll just call it as rings <laughs> these rings right here you'll potentially damage them as well or scratch them because i see people doing this all the time which is not good for your bag instead just you know play around with it like this Maybe they're enjoying the noise of their straps. <laughs> anyway, the top of the bag is rounded and not pointed. So that's a relief because I never carry mine as a clutch or hold it on top where I reach for it. Now let's talk about the weight of the bag <laughs> which is a con for many and many people know that it tends to be heavy firstly because it's large and made of full leather additionally it has a double flap and its strap has a chain with substantial weight if you fill its interior with items it becomes even heavier hence the most common complaint is that it becomes painful on the shoulder when used for an extended period this definitely is not for everyone personally i am not a petite person i am just right my bones are on the larger side so i can manage it i always say that i prefer small bags now that my lifestyle has changed i only carry the basic essentials and even if i use this the same amount of items will still be placed inside so it's not that heavy for me besides i'm used to carrying guns which are way heavier than this more like one kilo above <laughs> now let's talk about the price tag i got this april 20 2019 for 45,700 hong kong dollars tax free it was such an expensive bag at the time but i didn't expect its price to increase even more every year and now its retail price is 11,700 us dollars without tax so that is tax exclusive i don't know how much is this equivalent in peso anymore but it continues to rise which is insane the resale value when you decide to sell it immediately in the same year you bought it could result in a loss of money so it's advisable to wait for at least a couple of years before selling the price also depends on the condition of your bag if you sell it uh pre love the resale value is not the reason why i bought this bag it's because i don't sell but it's good to know the option if ever i decide to part ways with it to be honest at its current price i wouldn't buy it anymore so my final thoughts about the chanel jumbo i love this bag and i'm glad i made the decision to get the classic flop in this size and leather there's plenty of room in the bag for slightly more than the daily essentials although there are some flaws with the bag they happen naturally with any chanel classic flop that's a design problem and i don't stress too much about it bags are meant to be used overall i'm very pleased with this purchased even when the strap is too long for us asians i'm five four tall and the only way i can carry it right is double strap <laughs> period chanel classic flops are beautiful and timeless chanel is definitely luxury and pricey everybody deserves something that makes them fabulous in their lives and so if you're pondering over whether or not to get it get it before the price increases again that is if you like it in this size yes we all 
love mini bags but I can't imagine them working for us in all situations. Some are also claiming that the large or jumbo size is going out of style. Do you believe in that? Let me know your opinions in the comment section. For me, it's not out of style. Maybe a better word would be less popular than before. I never really understood sizes of a classic and iconic bag being out of style. How can a Chanel flop mini be in and the jumbo be out it all depends on someone's need at a given time many take the size that's functional so there you have it i hope this video has helped those who aspire to own this beauty but are still hesitant until now i know it's the price tag <laughs> but yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed and if you did please give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and turn that bell on for a new video i'll see you next time bye